This is the side seam pocket we're gonna do today. I think it is quite nice for a dressier garment. It's quite invisible, it looks good. And you know what, it's nice and easy for beginners. This is sort of the standard construction for these kinds of pockets. Sewing one pocket piece to the front, one to the back, and then you sew around that whole pocket and side seam and a little bit at the top here. But they don't tell you when to, to serge your edges or finish your edges in whatever method you choose. So what I'm adding here is a, just a little small serge right at the end of those two pockets so that when we put them together, you'll be able to serge the rest of this as one layer. You won't have two layers of serging there adding extra bulk. So we're gonna serge there first. Then after we sew it on, we're gonna serge the whole side seam of both front and back separately. Then after we sew this whole edge, that's when we're going to serge the rest of the pocket so that we just have the one layer of serging there and so we're not adding extra bulk. I've cut out my pocket pieces and my front and back. Now, I'm just doing one pocket for this demonstration, but if you're doing a full skirt or pant, you'll need to cut four of your pocket pieces. So now, the notches that I need, this notch that they give you, it's useful. It's not super critical though, because we're gonna be matching this to the skirt at the top there, but why not? You can go ahead and give yourself two little snips at the notches there. On the front, you can have those matching ones if you want. As I say, they're not critical because we know we're matching that top corner. What you do want is to mark these circles with a notch as well. Just on the front, just a little snip pointing in at those circles and a little snip pointing at those circles. Because we're gonna need that information later. We don't really need it on the back, just on the front. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to my serger and just serge that little bit at the bottom of my pocket pieces. So I'm gonna to go to the serger and come right back. Don't worry, we'll serge the rest of the pocket later. So now one pocket piece goes to the back, matching up those top corners and that double notch that we snipped. And one pocket piece goes to the front. I'm gonna to go to the regular machine and sew there and there, and then I'm gonna serge. And for the back, I'm gonna serge the whole side seam. For the front, again, as I say, if you wanna be able to machine wash this, then yeah, go ahead and serge the whole front edge. But if you want this to be just as clean as possible without adding that extra bulk of the serging, then I'm just gonna start my serging about here and come down so that that front edge has a little less bulk in it. Start with a back tack, match up your edges and your notches. Once we're done sewing this, we'll go straight to the serger. For the back, I'm going to start right at the top. And serge the whole way down. But for the front, I'm just going to start a couple inches above that bottom of the pocket. At the iron, now we're going to press the seam allowance toward the pocket for both the front and the back. Okay, so now I'm putting the front and back right sides together matching up the top corner here and around the pocket bag and right down the side seam. And just like the instructions are showing here, I'm gonna sew around the pocket and all the way up and then down and then that little bit up here. So that's what those two extra notches are for, to tell us where to stop this one and how far to come up with this one. Notice it also says we're gonna be clipping the seam allowance right there. So I'll show you all of that. There's the notch that I had clipped, so I know I want to be sewing this part, and I want to be sewing inside or to the left of that line. I want to pin it so that these two seam lines are right on top of each other, and that they're matching at the top here. So one pin in there will do. And then I can feel through that those two seams are right on top of each other, and another pin right where that notch is. So pinning with the top edges matching, the seam lines right on top of each other, and another pin right where that notch was. Down here, the notch got a little hidden in my serging there. I can see it's right there, so I'm gonna pin there. And again, just making sure that my, my seam lines of the pocket are right on top of each other. Good. I'm gonna be sewing here and then all the way around up to that pin and down. 
So finishing with a back tack right where that notch is. And then just coming right over to the top corners of the pockets, making sure those corners are together. And here we go. Coming around that curve, and I'm going to aim for this pin right here and pivot when I get to the outside of that seam. Good. And then pivot and come down. Back at the serger, I'm going to serge the rest of that pocket edge now and just overlap where I serged and come off. Here we go. Now you see why I serged that little bit of the pocket first. Because if I had tried to do that, I would not have been able to get up in here without cutting my side seam. So doing that little bit first means that I can serge that with just one layer instead of having two layers and having extra bulk. So now I'm going to press everything flat just to set the thread. That reduces bulk as well. And now open up the side seam. The pocket comes over the front and this is where we have to do that snip. I want to be able to open out that side seam. So anywhere in here I can just do a snip and turn that right up. And now I can press my seam open and flat below the pocket and all coming towards the front at the pocket. A nice finishing press on the outside. And there you've got a beautiful side seam pocket that is just so nice and invisible. 